Hi, Trevor here. I'm going to go through upgrading a land sweeper from version 721052 to version 801314. Uh, there's a major change uh, in land sweeper. It goes from using uh, SQL compact to SQL dot local uh, which is the uh, newer express version of SQL server they use version 14 for this so we're gonna go ahead and get started uh, there is a really hard to find knowledge base if you haven't been keeping up to date with your updates um, it's right here converting a depreciated SQL compact database it's in my uh, blog post notes and in the uh, links for the video in the description. Uh, because we're using a version lower than 721086, uh, we'll need to download that. And that is right here. So while that downloads, for doing a backup of Land Sweeper, we need to stop the Land Sweeper server and the IIS service, which we just did. There we are. Land Sweeper server. So this will just be another minute. And while we're doing that, we can go ahead and download the most recent version of Landsweeper as well. So when we're done here, we're going to see a new service called Landsweeper uh, Database, which will run after the SQL uh, local database is installed after the upgrade. So while we got the service stopped here, we want to back up our Landsweeper files the main thing we need to get is the SQL data and the key folder I like putting in the documents folder with the version And then we're going to do a new folder here. Grade to, I think the latest version is 8. Zero, one, three, zero, 14. Okay, so we have our downloaded version here. This one is seven two one zero eight six. So I'm going to put this in the documents folder right now. Enter. 
our services are stopped. And here's our version eight. Okay, so we're going to run the 721086 version first. We've backed up our database by moving into a separate folder, which is outlined in the Landsweeper uh, migration process and upgrade process. So we're going to do an upgrade. We did a full backup. And now it's going to install SQL Server 2014 local database. We'll come back after it's finished installing. All right, so it's almost finished installing here. We're just waiting for the Landsweeper local database service. We'll just pause it here for a minute until it gets passed. Okay, so we just finished the install. So now if we look, We're on version 721086. Our database server is a local DB. And we're running SQL server 2014 service pack 3 so now we do the same thing we did again let's refresh this here so you can see now we have a Landsweeper local database service so we're going to stop the SQL server or the Landsweeper server, IIS Express, local database server. We're gonna go to our Landsweeper directory, grab the key again and the SQL data. And just to show you the SQL data folder, you'll see that we have an MDF file now instead of the SDF, which we were using before. So now we're gonna select the version eight. We're gonna copy that in there. Then 
once that's done, we're going to run the installer for version 8. You always get the deal, detailed instructions for doing the backup. Like I said, it's basically copying and pasting database files. Then we'll do the backup or the upgrade. This won't take as long as the previous upgrade. Yeah, looks like we're really picking the disk with the uh, SQL server. So we'll come back as soon as that's uh, finished. There we go. So we finished. Refresh our service, we got the server running, database service, and the IIS Express. Log in. There we go, now we have our uh, updated database. And we're on latest version 8.0.130.14. I hope you found this tutorial upgrade useful and have a look for the blog post and the links for the information in the description below.